Hello everyone, welcome back to Tiny Trinkets and Tarot. This is Angela, and today I would like to embrace this beautiful full moon energy by offering all of us a collective message, utilizing some oracle cards along with tarot cards and the charms, and as well as some number and letters. I have chosen to work with the Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron reed the Morgan Greer Tarot, the Numerology Guidance Cards by Michelle Buchanan, and the Secret Garden Oracle by Jessica Lee. As always, you will find links below to any of these decks in case there are any viewers who are interested in finding their own copy. And let's get started. I hope that you are all well. And let's see what messages would like to come through. We'll start with Tarot. Spirit, please provide us a message that is clear on where we should be focusing and what we need to know during this space and time as a collective here on beautiful planet Earth. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. The Fool. Strength. Uh -huh. And the Six of Wands. Okay. All right, all right. Interesting. Let's keep adding to it and then we'll read it as a whole. So next, let's grab ourselves one of these numerology cards. Okay, Spirit, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? All right, thank you so much. And 99 Compassion. <laughs> wow. If any of you follow Sadhana's channel, you will know why I just said wow. <laughs> she just started a compassion uh, challenge here on YouTube. And actually, I will link it below in case anyone wants to jump in. But that is very much reminding me to jump into that beautiful challenge that she's created for all of us. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, and let's grab another oracle card here to add to this reading. These shuffle a little bit differently. These are the um, Enchanted Map Oracle, and I've trimmed them and edged them just because I did not like the borders on them. And uh, they shuffle a little bit differently <laughs> than what I'm used to, but that's okay. They still work. They still work. So. All right. Thank you. And what do we got? The wishing well. Okay. 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 Beautiful. And then we're going to use this adorable little secret garden oracle. And... Thank you. Listen. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, before we pull some charms, the overall message that I am getting from these cards, the message that I'm getting is very much about self-love. And if we take the time to listen essentially is what it's saying to our own inner voice to our own intuition then that will certainly lead to success you know and some good news coming in that but it, again, it all stems back. I, I'm, I'm really focusing on this here. I mean, we've got the double 99. Any time that a number repeats itself, you should always pay attention to it as it is really emphasizing um, your attention. And compassion goes so much deeper than just having compassion for others. It must begin with you. And again, 
if any of you were on Sadhana's live last night, that's exactly what she was trying to explain to us is that going deeper with compassion, ultimately, you know, you're sort of figuring out what that means to you. And the wishing well, to me, coincides with that is like, you know, the depths of yourself pulling out the feelings that may not feel too good but when you do look at the beautiful treasure that will come out of that right so so do it so take you know begin okay like have the strength have the courage to to do that to listen to your intuition to have compassion for yourself to go within the depths and ultimately you know It'll be successful in terms of you being able to expand that out to others, right? To offer others the compassion and 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 for you to to get your, to to know yourself better, ultimately, right? So let's pull some charms just to see if it has anything more to add. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit just so you can see some of these charms a little bit better. All right. So Oftentimes when I pull letters, I sit with them to see uh, if they might spell something for myself or if they mean something to me numero numero oh, numerologically. Oh my goodness. Numerologically. Why was that so hard to say today? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to leave that in there because I'm not even going to edit it out. Okay. So uh, this could spell as something specific to you. It could spell a name. It could be initials of somebody. And then we also have the numbers eight and four. We got the um, magic charm, okay? So magic and compassion, you know, go hand in hand. Um, the true magic of life, right? Going within and listening. And look at this, we have the listen charm that landed on the listen oracle card, along with the pineapple which I view as uh, friendship. And again, in this particular reading, I'm getting that to meaning friendship with yourself, getting to know yourself. This is very much the overall feeling that I'm getting is, is having compassion for yourself, going within and from that, and only until you do that will you be able to come out on the other side and proceed further with what you are needing to do. On the strength card as well, we received the anchor, right? So anchoring yourself in that trust, in that strength that you can do this, that yes, there is going to be some uncomfortableness, of course, right? When you're diving into these layers of self, but it, it has to be done. It must be done. Um, yeah, so that is, that is what I'm gathering from that. Uh, when I do pull charms, not every charm I feel pertains to the reading, but again, if you do see something here that uh, specifically is symbolic for you, certainly it uh, adds to the reading, which is why I leave it in there. All right, so that is the overall message that I'm getting. So focusing on compassion, listening to your inner voice, going within those depths, having the courage to do so, just do it. You know, ultimately, uh, you're going to grow and come out on the other end with some really good news from that. I think this is beautiful. I love how it emphasized the listen where the listen fell right on the listen card. I mean, <laughs> this is why I, I use different um, layers in my readings because I love when I have something that's really emphasized. All right, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, bye for now.